four corners of the cube zero zero we have the coordinates of the four corners what are the uh, other four corners so there's basically eight corners for the cube so let's do that okay so let's graph that Uh, x axis y z so zero 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 would be here uh, one zero zero would be uh, let's just say that the one is here zero one zero that's one along the y one zero zero one so that's here um, so these are supposed to be the four corners of the cube right uh, okay well uh, what would the other corners be well uh, first thing first uh, we know <coughs> that the cube has to have equal sides uh, so if this is zero one zero uh, I'm supposed to have uh, I'm supposed to have one here uh, and this is supposed to go one here Oops. Uh, and so if I continue the cube it's gonna look something like this of course and uh, there's uh, another point here and uh, we could join these two of course okay so this is the cube well um, we know that uh, so let's write the required points in green so we want one down one to the right zero so this is one one zero has to be a length of one because all the cubes uh, have equal sides of length one in this case in this case of length one okay uh, this point here will be this is in the ZY plane, so it would be 0, 1, 1. And then we have this point here. This is in the ZX plane, so the Y will be 0, and it will be 1, 1, right? And then uh, we have this point here. Uh, this is in the first octant, so this is uh, 1 to the right, 1 down, and 1 up. So this is 1, 1, 1. So these are the, f the remaining four corners in green. Um, find the coordinates of the center point of the cube. Um, so uh, uh, the center point of the cube, if I draw a diagonal, so um, I hope this is going to be clear. So this is like a diagonal. And the center point will be the midpoint of this diagonal, of course. Right? So... Um, uh, or I could go maybe be easier to go along the other diagonal maybe be easier to go from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 So so there's another diagonal here. I know it's not going to be that obvious in 3d, but this is the diagonal and The center of the cube will be in the midpoint of this diagonal Well, if you take the midpoint of this the origin is 0 0 0 1 1 1 so this is going to be so the center will be at half 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 And uh, what else? Uh, the center point of the six faces. Okay, again, that's uh, straightforward. Uh, we can take uh, any diagonal of each face and uh, do the midpoint on that. Um, and so uh, if I were to take uh, the front face here, um, Let's do this in blue. So this is the front face. Uh, I know that this red point here is one zero zero, and the uh, top of the diagonal is one one one. Uh, so the center for the front face will be um, just average. So uh, one. Uh, 
uh, half half one half half okay now notice this is the front face uh, notice that the back face which is in the zy plane uh, will have the same uh, the only coordinate that changes is the x there is no longer an x because you're in the zy plane so the back one here on this side will be uh, will be uh, zero uh, half half okay let's go on the right side so this point here is uh, okay we're done with this first one Ben where are we now which uh, uh, which uh, excuse me for a second we're on the recording let me pause this so I can talk to myself okay continuing here uh, let's go to the right side so we know that this point here is uh, zero one zero um and um the the top point is one 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 so the center would be the midpoint so uh, uh, the right side here this will be so average this so this is half one half okay and notice that the side facing that which is in the x z plane which is here um this is um, the same center but the we're in the xz plane so the y is zero so we'll have half zero half okay we still have the top and the bottom okay so uh, uh, so here just so you guys can think this one was coming at it from the back okay so let's do the top and the bottom so um, uh, the bottom one is uh, uh, let's choose a different color uh, what other colors could we do let's do uh, this guy here okay so so the bottom uh, we have one zero zero and zero one zero so average these two and the center would be at half half zero clearly the z is zero because in the z y plane uh, the top one will be uh, the top one of course will be the same thing except we went up in the z uh, so it will be half um, half half one half half one Uh, this does it. This answers all the parts uh, in this question.